Modern Warfare 2 DMZ and Warzone 2 got another brand new update today and with that we're going to go over all the changes in a rapid style video that way you can quickly watch this and get right back into game. If you're new here want to sub I would greatly appreciate it and if you like our comment thank you a ton. The first notable change is that the CDL mosh pit is finally in Modern Warfare 2. This was supposed to come out with season 1 however it was not ready so it got delayed but as of today if you load up Modern Warfare 2 you're going to see quick play, shoot house, third person mosh pit and now you're going to see CDL mosh pit. Team size 4, max players 8, small to large maps, competitive, 4v4 hardpoint control and search and destroy featuring the same maps, rules, and restrictions as the Call of Duty League, friendly fire is enabled. Now, this is not going to be league play. League play is still coming in the future. This is kind of like a practice mode for league play. You're not going to have any sort of rank in this. You're not going to have any sort of unlocks. This is just like a normal multiplayer match, you know, like quick play, any of that stuff. It's just going to search you with that. However, the big difference is you're not going to be using your normal classes. If you load into the CDL mosh pit, uh, the classes you're going to use are the same ones. If you were going to go to private match, go to create private match and select Call of Duty League. And yes, this option is back as of today as well. From private matches, they removed the Call of Duty League option a couple weeks ago. But as of today, you can now go into a private match. You can go to create private match and Call of Duty League. I have checked the bug that used to exist where you could see all of the blueprints in the entire game, all of the charms, all that stuff. That no longer works. It's probably the reason they removed it. But no, you cannot see any of the content early anymore. But these classes in this CDL mode are going to be the same classes you're going to use when you play the CDL mosh pit. If you're experiencing a lot of crashes in the game, hopefully this will help you out. This was tweeted out yesterday by Beanox. Hi, everyone. While the team continues to work hard and improving the game on PC, keep the feedback coming. We're always paying attention to your comments. We've just released an update. Fix an issue causing multiple crashes on PC. Fix an issue that resulted in the game dropping FPS for a moment when mousing over a locked operator. So I have a lot of crash in this game and a lot of my other friends on PC also have a ton of crash in this game. After this update, I still managed to get a lot of crashes after playing. Hopefully it continues to get more and more improved as time goes on. But uh, being perfectly honest, I don't notice much of a difference before and after this update maybe there were some issues some people were having very specifically and this might have fixed that but when it comes to the issues i was personally having with dmz i'm still crashing pretty much the exact same amount of times i was before this update yesterday on top of this the first double xp event for modern warfare 2 dmz and warzone 2 is going on right now it's not double weapon xp it's just double xp and it's only for a day this double XP event is going to end tomorrow. If you are a PlayStation player, it actually started yesterday. So you get two full days of double XP. But for all the other consoles, it's just going to be, you know, one day, which is kind of weird. Usually at this time in a game's life cycle, we've already had multiple double XP events in the last for an entire weekend. However, one thing about Modern Warfare 2 is the level cap isn't that high. And a lot of people have already hit max rank. Most people already maxed out at level 250. And if you haven't, more than likely you're going to. There's still over 60 days left in this season. And by then, the majority of the community is going to hit level 250. So there's, there's not a big reason to spam a bunch of double XP events. One weird thing I've noticed after the update that involves the pay to win attachment we talked about a couple days ago. If you missed that video, there was a really powerful sniper attachment you could only acquire by buying a bundle. However, after this update, it got a little bit weirder. If you go to Gunsmith, go to Customize, or if you go to Gunsmith, go to Optic and scroll all the way to the end, you're going to see the attachment we talked about, the Raptor FVM40. Now it says to unlock this, you have to get the Victus XMR to level 28. Prior to this update, it didn't say anything if you had all the guns max ranked. And if you didn't have every gun max rank, it pick a random weapon and it tell you a random level to get it to. And if you did get that weapon to that level, it wouldn't unlock this attachment. It pick a different weapon and it would just lead you on a giant goose chase until you ranked up every weapon and this still wouldn't unlock. But now you've got to get the Victus XMR to level 28. However, you can only level it up to level 27. I've gone in game. I cannot get this to go to level 28. So it looks like they tried to fix this and try to make this unlockable. But uh, as of this newest update, it is still impossible to unlock this attachment for free. The only way to get this sniper scope, which is extremely powerful in DMZ and Warzone and in Ground War, the only way to get it is to buy the bundle that it comes with, which we covered in our previous episode. And it's also weird because they removed that bundle for a couple of days. But as of today, that bundle is back in the store. Speaking of bundles, they added three new ones today. They added the Ethan bundle, which we've already done a full review on earlier today. They also added this one right here, which is kind of basic, not a whole lot going on with it. Then they added a psychedelic bundle as well. This one's got some very colorful blueprints that look cool. I'm probably going to pass on it. This shroom charm looks kind of cool, especially if that glows. Who knows? 
Uh, but yeah, that's everything with that. That's everything about the new update that came out today. As always, if you guys want to keep fully updated with anything happening with COD, whether it be Modern Warfare 2, DMZ, our Warzone 2, or any other future COD games, this is the channel to find it. We're always going to cover everything very fast. That way you can watch this video, get right back in the game. If you love to like our comment, I appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.